three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Universal Narratives, a channel dedicated to unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos. An exciting journey into the mysteries of the universe, since its beginnings is about to unfold. On the morning of July 11, 2022, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, the United States Space Agency, unveiled the first images captured by the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, hailed as the most powerful space telescope in history. Named in honor of the second director of NASA, James Webb, the JWST required 26 years of development, time and resources invested by NASA researchers. Now finally, their patient way has been rewarded with the treasures that the universe has revealed. The images of remote galaxies, captured by the James Webb Space Telescope, are gradually revealing information that challenges our understanding of the universe. Will we become the Galileos of this new era? Will we embark on a journey to discover the mysteries of the universe since its beginnings? James Webb has discovered 700 galaxies beyond the Big Bang limit. The first result announced by the James Webb Space Telescope is the image that captures light from the SMAC 723 galaxy cluster. This cluster of galaxies is located 5.12 billion light years away and is located in the southern part of the constellation Pisces. It is a portion of sky visible from the southern hemisphere of the Earth and is often visited by the Hubble and other telescopes in search of deep cosmic history. The initial data is of immense importance as it reveals the structure of the universe when it was just 600 million years old, measured from the beginning of the Big Bang. Scientists expect the JWST to reveal even more about the formation or end of stars and planets, the shape of black holes, or the existence of extraterrestrial life. The latest information has partly fulfilled humanity's aspirations as the images of 700 galaxies at the edges of the universe have been sent by James Webb. The evidence captured by infrared light has forced the scientific community to stop and re-examine models of the primordial universe. Will humanity be able to overcome the shock of this knowledge and build a new cosmological model based on these new unthinkable discoveries? This remains an unanswered question. However, we all know that today, the ancient and hidden part of the universe will be revealed and our understanding of the cosmos will change forever. As Kenneth Sembach, director of the Space Telescope Science Institute, STSI, has stated. So what exactly has the JWST revealed about the universe? It is the information that humanity has been seeking for centuries, the genesis of the infinite cosmic night with its stars. Among the 700 galaxies observable from the observations of the JWST, astronomers have discovered six candidates that could overturn the entire theory of cosmic formation. Everything we have learned so far may now be called into question as the images of the JWST reveal galaxies about 13.5 billion years old, containing tens of billions of stars with masses equivalent to the Sun, just 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang. This means they are comparable in size to our galaxy, the Milky Way. According to a recent study published in the journal Nature on February 22, the newly discovered galaxies are so large that they contradict 99% of the representative models of the early galaxies of the universe. This has left scientists completely puzzled. The current theory suggests that galaxies begin their formation from small clouds of stellar dust and grow gradually over time, but the new findings are proving the opposite turning around what many believe were well-established scientific theories," said Joel Lysowitz, associate professor of astronomy and astrophysics at Pennsylvania State University and co-author of the research paper. These six galaxies are not the oldest observed by the JWST. Last year, scientists discovered four galaxies dating back to about 350 million years after the Big Bang, but they were much smaller. Dr. Emma Chapman, an astrophysicist at the University of Nottingham, and not involved in the latest research, said further observations of other discoveries are needed before dismissing current models of our universe. Currently, the research team is planning to collect spectroscopic images from the data sent by the JWST. This method can provide more precise information on the age and allow better estimates of the masses of the six new discovered galaxies. Now let's immerse ourselves in the hypotheses derived from the discoveries of the JWST. Will our understanding of star and galaxy formation change? 
Until now, the process of star and galaxy formation has remained shrouded in mystery. As Erica Nelson, an astronomer at the University of Colorado Boulder, states, the Milky Way produces one to two new stars each year, while some of the 700 objects observed by the JWST could generate hundreds of new stars annually, spanning throughout the history of the universe. If these discoveries can be verified, we would make a significant step forward in exploring and redefining the universe. We cannot exclude the possibility that these galaxies may be quasars or supermassive black holes. The new infrared images obtained by the JWST will require further clarification on this matter. According to the theory that describes the processes following the Big Bang, about one to 300 million years after the explosion, the first stars began to form. They were very large and bright stars responsible for the ionization process of the universe. At that time, we did not yet have heavier elements than lithium from the Big Bang nucleosynthesis phase. The first stars produced heavier elements through stellar nucleosynthesis. As a result, most of the primordial light in the universe could be ultraviolet radiation from these very hot stars. The surface temperature of the stars also began to ionize hydrogen and neutralize helium around the stars after their formation. This event is known as the era of rayonization. Scientists from the California Institute of Technology and the Sloan Digital Sky Survey have also found evidence of the last phase of this rayonization process. They discovered strong absorption of ultraviolet radiation in the spectrum of quasars about 900 million years after the Big Bang. These findings suggest that the remaining neutral hydrogen was ionized at that time. If the stars were really very massive, their lives would be very short, only a few million years. Some stars would explode as supernova, releasing the metals they produced. Stars with masses between 100 and 250 times that of the Sun are predicted to be completely destroyed in a powerful explosion. Most of the first stars fall into this mass range. Metals are more efficient than hydrogen in cooling the clouds of star-forming gas, allowing them to collapse into stars, and even a small amount of metal production has a significant impact on star formation. What is the contradiction here? If everything had happened according to our previous understanding, the rayonization process would have occurred more than a billion years after the Big Bang. After that, more stable stars would have formed. It would have taken billions of years for galaxies to begin to appear. But now we have mature galaxies that are only 500 to 700 million years old. What happened to the theory of dark energy and the rate of expansion? We are witnessing a contradiction in our current cosmological model. Are there still other mysterious factors related to matter and energy that we have yet to discover? Another interesting discovery concerns the presence of organic molecules in the primordial universe. According to a study published in the journal Nature in June 2023, scientists used the JLST to discover a cloud composed of complex organic molecules inside the SP418-47 galaxy, located 12.3 billion light-years away from Earth. These are the oldest organic molecules ever identified by humanity. Spectroscopic data reveals that these complex organic molecules mainly belong to aromatic forms of polycyclic hydrocarbons, or PAAs. On Earth, PAAs are found in forest fire smoke and car exhaust fumes. In space, they could play a significant role in star formation, helping to regulate the temperature of gas clouds in star nurseries and influencing the timing and location of star development. PAEs are considered one of the fundamental building blocks for the most durable life forms here on Earth. All this is fascinating. These organic molecules existed in the primordial universe just over a billion years after the Big Bang. It is something that no cosmological model has ever addressed. As Dwokin Vieira, co-author of the study from the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign in the United States, states, we were very surprised by this discovery. It provided new insights into the complex chemical interactions that occur in the early galaxies of the primordial universe. The discovery of these complex organic molecules at such a great distance and at such an early time in the universe raises many questions about the chemistry of the early galaxies. In conclusion, the James Webb Space Telescope is giving us a fascinating panorama of the primordial universe and is bringing to light discoveries that challenge our current cosmological theories. It is an era of new questions, new challenges, and new possibilities to better understand our place in the universe. Keep following us on Universal Narrativees for the latest updates and analyses of the latest information.